Hello viewers, welcome to another one more fabulous real estate video based on the Bangalore's market. You know me very well. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I specialize in selling premium and luxury real estate with Kodal Banker. And today I have another colleague of mine, Disha Mohan, who is a newbie with Kodal Banker. We cannot say newbie, but she is almost close to a year old with Kodal Banker. So we are going to discuss uh, about her journey with Kodal Banker, about her experience in real estate in Bangalore market and so many things we are going to share with you all so stay tuned stay until the end of this video watch comment share like more importantly subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so that we can notify you whenever we post such lovely real estate based videos so let's begin the show so disha what's up Hi sir. <laughs> <laughs> so well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, you have been with Coral Banker for almost a year now. Yeah. Um, you have been a very successful agent with us. Yes. So can you take us through your journey? What What was your experience like? First of all, I'm excited for this. So this is a new format which we are exploring, and I think it's going to be a good, uh, you know, marketing for us. Uh, my journey till now has been amazing. thanks to you thanks to colwell banker for the opportunities for all the structured way of working i think that is a very important part of why i was able to achieve what i have till now uh, we are very clear we are very direct we are very focused and everything happens according to the you know rules and regulations which we follow so that is one of the reason why i think i was able to do good in real estate and uh, with colwell banker definitely a good a lot of good exposure and the brand name itself is enough for me to have approach clients you know get listings and plus we are doing so much on youtube we are doing such good listings so definitely a very good experience for the past one 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 year four months so yes amazing amazing i'm so happy for you um i'm so happy because uh, you are not something uh, uh, you know having an expertise prior to joining colwell banker you didn't add the experience yeah. uh, in real estate yeah. and uh, having not been having a experience in real estate market you came and you conquered the market i could say i could say yeah. and uh, just for the audience uh, what were you doing prior to real estate what you what you were selling or what what was your experience like yeah So I have a marketing background. So I finished my BBM in JNCMS, and then after that I got into business with my father. So he's also into marketing, and he also got me into marketing. So marketing has always been the background. So what you were selling like? So my father was into new technology products. So I used to be in that industry where we used to market a lot of new technologies. Uh, I did that for a few years, and then I started a business of my own. So I ventured into into artisanal cheese. so i used to make a make cheese i used to market it on my own i used to do the selling so from technology it went to cheese so i've explored different industries so that was a small business for the niche market where it was successful in that scale where i was able to give out really good quality products for my clients so once real estate came into my life everything you know went crazy and and honestly speaking real estate ticked all of my boxes so lot of experience what i got from before joining real estate helped me in real estate it built my confidence if i had not done any of those i wouldn't have been able to do real estate so well that is one thing and also um i feel personally it's a very underrated market for women so it's a main, most of them who are real estate brokers or agents who are in the market are men so maybe because of the you know taboo that only men need to do real estate women don't get into real estate so much also now i see like when i go to builder meets or meet other agents it's mostly men hardly see women but i don't see why women can't do this business it's not like rocket science or something it's all about marketing sales negotiation building the connect with the client so i feel like there's a huge opportunity for women uh to become independent to make money to be financially stable so that's one thing i've realized in real estate wow so from the tech products yeah. to selling cheese yeah. to real estate 
and being a woman realtor yeah. what a journey i said <laughs> i am sure that you are enjoying this otherwise the this this kind of words would not come uh, from person like you yeah. so i'm so happy for you being a successful woman realtor well, thank you and uh, just uh, trying to uh, you know probe here like you know uh, you have been selling uh, some tech products you said cheese and real estate so uh, facing the consumers Uh, vis-a-vis these products versus real estate what what has been the experience like uh i think selling something is always a challenge doesn't matter what product it is so you need to know how exactly to pitch it to the clients there is definitely a difference so compared to a cheese versus a real estate like a property that is just a small product which you know people don't think so much but when you are convincing someone to buy a property it's about investing all of their lifetime you know uh, earnings and savings to invest and everybody wants to own a property so giving the right advice and especially more than right advice building the trust with the client is very important for for you to convince them that this property is right for you you should go for it so there's definitely a big difference uh it is not easy it is very challenging every day is a new day every day is a different day you say you face so many challenges in real estate uh but if you enjoy it and if you keep consistently working i think you can achieve awesome yeah. so w- what what is your day like so how how do you meet clients and uh, uh probably how do you get references of these clients and uh, Uh, talk to uh, you know walk us through your day what happens in a day mm-hmm. as a woman realtor yeah so uh, how do we meet clients or how do we get you know buyers and sellers so we thank you for coldwell banker thanks to you you have been doing a great marketing so just with the brand we have a lot of clients calling us every day saying that we want to buy this we have this budget we want to purchase here or sellers call us be like we have this apartment we have this independent house we want to sell it so we get in leads plus we also do marketing where we post in other websites we post listings on our website where people see that on google and they call us and after that is when we you know uh, have a conversation understand the requirement better we get in depth with what they are looking for if it's a buyer we understand all of their requirements location budget family uh, if they want it near a school if they want it near their office which location in bangalore they want bedrooms vastu there are so many things so we go in depth in terms of understanding the buyer requirement sellers also is a little different so we are go to the property we see if it's in our range of selling and if we if if it is suiting all of our you know working criteria we take it up and we put it on the market to sell so that's how we deal with buyers and sellers and once we have met and spoken to them we schedule one time where we go visit the property or we meet the buyer and uh we understand their requirements and we normally buyers are free in the weekends so showings happen during the weekends uh listings we go see during the day so my day starts off with uh personally like i like to be physically active so i do my workouts i do my meditation i do some studying in the morning after that i come to office and then we follow up we have a team meeting where we you know exchange listings requirements with each other so we work together as a team you know so that we do and then we go up, go about with our showings and you know listing meetings and all of that and that happens throughout the day after that is again go back and you know recoup for the next day awesome yeah. so looks your day is always filled with busy meetings yeah i'm i'm very happy that you are starting your day you have something uh, called a daily routine yeah that's so very important so you start with some uh, very healthy workouts and then you uh, you give some exercise to your mind yeah. so body and soul they say yes uh, so you start with that so you become very strong to meet uh, so many varieties of people outside the market definitely um, which i I'm, i'm sure uh, that you know this is going to take you Uh, to greater heights in real estate market yeah uh, so what do you like uh, disha in the bangalore's real estate market there are so many varieties of real estate real estate is a big ocean right yeah so you have the commercial real estate residential real estate mm. you have apartments you have uh, villas you mm. have independent properties so uh, where do you see the market is going and uh, you meet so many buyers uh what do you think is their interest levels and uh, which product uh, you enjoy the most mm. selling mm. so i think 
with this question uh bangalore real estate is so unique in itself so every location is so unique in itself so there's not south east west so if you go to south it's completely different compared to north so south is like old bangalore so you will find mostly like you know independent properties coming for sale heritage properties coming for sale where you know probably 50 60 years back it would have been allotted and they're selling it now so there's a lot of history with south bangalore and few apartments are also there but comparatively a lot of old properties independent properties come in south and north cbd and east bangalore there are a lot of apartment communities so those are comparatively newer so central bangalore is a mixture north and east is completely apartments and north is the most developing i think north is very hot right now north is like uh, how east bangalore was 5 10 years back right there's a lot of development which is going to happen so everyone wants to stay close to the airport yeah yeah and there is a good opportunity to invest there so rates are much lesser so if now people are investing they can expect some returns in the next 10 years uh so once they sell the property there's a chance of getting really good returns so can you give us some colors with respect to what are the prices what are the projects which you focus on these areas especially the north yeah and uh, what stage is it right now mm. and some of your success stories here so in north i mostly focus on apartments and villas so total environment um and prestige properties shobha so they're all coming up with many villa communities in the north bangalore so if you want an, so the starting price for villas is somewhere around 3 and 1/2 and above in north bangalore and there are apartments also which we again same builders all of the a grade builders is who i handle uh apartments you can get from about 1 1 1/2 crores and above depending on the bedroom and the size of the uh, apartments so the land rates there starting from i think around 3 and 1/2 4000 rupees per square feet the further you go the it will decrease but it's much lesser compared to the other locations you can purchase so who are all these buyers so, uh, i understand that you are primarily selling the builder inventories mm. uh, that is uh, uh, you know builders uh, constructing for the first time mm. and you are selling their inventories mm. uh, Who are all these buyers? These buyers are the first-time home buyers, or is a second home, or a weekend home because you you have all the uh, airport nearby, yeah. the Chikbalapura, what you call the Nandi Hills, mm. and so many other uh, attractions nearby. So people wanting to be a second home or a weekend home, something like that, or is it all first-time home buyers? So what I have seen is many people who are looking to invest and get a good return in the future. are investing in north bangalore that is one thing and definitely second home buyers like one they will have a house probably in other part of bangalore or not even in bangalore but they want to invest in bangalore lot of people from other states are coming and investing in north bangalore one because it's closer to airport and now they've realized the potential of north so they're investing there and lot of localites also are investing there for investments and returns so that is what we are seeing more majoritively but many people are considering moving that side because airport is going to get much closer so right. now from airport only city limit start so they all want to stay close to airport so a lot of uh, no, i wouldn't say a lot but many people are considering moving that side so disha uh, you spoke about uh, the market mm. north Ma- north bangalore market especially and uh, uh, yeah definitely i also felt that you know people are slowly enquiring and started uh, thinking whether they can move there uh because the connectivity is excellent the roads are wide yeah. the metro connectivity is going to come there mm. and uh, especially the public uh, transport is excellent uh having the the terminal 2 is also now operational yeah. uh, so people are really and bangalore airport is being uh, the second uh, uh what do you call the uh, traffic prone volume in india correct uh, in the country yeah. and uh, you have more international connections to bangalore than any other airport in bangalore in india correct so with all that in mind as you rightly said uh, the city limit starts from there mm. from the airport mm. and people are looking towards that location no doubt yeah. so i am sure uh, you might get uh, more enquiries after uh, people watching this video to enquire about the project so please do mm. get back to them as and when uh, it lands to your phone sure uh, i i wanted to see you spoke about uh, women entrepreneurship and uh, i always considered that uh, being an entrepreneur is a very lonely affair 
and being a realtor uh, is even being more uh, yeah. lonely yeah. so whether you are successful or not that is immaterial but you become so known so thanks to kolal banker let yeah. me also thank to kolal banker because Definitely. uh the brand has its own process correct so it it binds all of us mm. um, uh, it has brought uh, all of us together yeah. and we are all working together as a team we are reaping the benefits yeah. um I, i wanted to throw some light on uh, the pros and cons of being a women entrepreneur and being a uh, women realtor yeah so being a real estate agent you know people say people feel or maybe people think that you know a real estate is so unorganized yeah. um that's that's not somewhere i need to build my career uh, it's like a mafia game mm. uh there's so much of illegal things happening so i i want you to uh, tell us you know what exactly is being a women uh, entrepreneur and a realtor yeah i love this question <laughs> so the fact is that it is unorganized it ha- it has been way more unorganized than today but it is changing so there is rera now and there are a lot of professional companies like ours who are streamlining everything and people are also and what i say when i say people it means buyers and sellers also they respect the process they have started to understand why there is a certain process so i would say that real estate is a very challenging industry it's definitely not easy you really need to work very hard you need to be very street smart and you need to be ready for the challenges which comes in so definitely it is challenging but if you are ready to work if you are ready to hustle then it is your game so what i so they like i would like to mention some pros and cons so of being a woman entrepreneur yeah. in real estate so one thing with women is we are we are made that way so we are multitasking by nature so we can do multiple things at a time so it's not that you know we won't be able to probably run a house and be a realtor or run another business and also be a realtor it's not like that we can do everything but what i would like to say is we can definitely face the challenges one thing what happens is people think that oh being a woman you can't face all those clients you can't negotiate you can't you know close those de- close those deals because it's very stressful or it's very uh, daunting but it is true but i don't think it's not no a lady can't do it a woman can't do it it's definitely possible so some of the pros okay first i'll start with cons few cons which might be there is you need to move around a lot some people might not like it but that is the game you need to move around you need to meet people you need to show the properties you need to personally connect with the client you can have any number of people working for you but that belief and that trust has to be built with you then only that property will sell or then only that client will buy a house from you because there are so many people in the industry if you if you need to sell that and if you need to make money you only have to do it so that is one thing probably many see it as cons but for me it's a pro i love to meet people i love to interact connect you know negotiate at the happiness of someone so hold your thoughts mm. i'm getting a call from another one more realtor <laughs> uh let let me ask the same question to her <laughs> she is on the phone right now hi uh, hello hi hi meena how are you i'm fine how are you good good so we are in the middle of a podcast recording oh. and uh, <laughs> you know disha right in our team yes and uh, you know she has been talking about uh, being an entrepreneur and how it is being an women realtor okay and how successful she is and how happy she is and all okay so uh, okay. since you are, you came right on line uh, talking about this topic okay we wanted to ask you the same question you have been one of the most successful realtor which whom i know and and uh, who has been very entrepreneurial and uh, who has been doing real estate for so many years now yes so uh, how do you feel uh, uh, by the way you are live huh? you are on air <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry to just bring you in here just like that without any uh, notice or something but yeah so disha uh, veena varadraj is online so i am asking the same question uh, what i asked disha so how is it how is it being a realtor and how is it being a women realtor and how is your journey so far oh it's, uh, it's been exceptional and i i really um, enjoy what i do 
and as I've been doing it more of, um, you know, for more number of years, I, I've been enjoying it because I meet such lovely people along the way. And uh, I think it's fantastic, especially for women who are educated because, uh, you know, the thing is, if you like the people, you can do it. If you don't want to, you can say no. And, um, and yeah. other than, uh, you know, and it's very interesting to, you know, it's more than just brokering, it's structuring deals. Uh, like I said, the whole experience is, and once you start actually enjoying your work, you start doing better. Excellent. Excellent. I'm so happy to hear all this from you. And uh, what do you do with all the money you earn, uh, Veena? <laughs> <laughs> I pay my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I know there is a deal waiting between us. So yes. let me finish this video. Let me just finish this video and come back to you, right? Sure. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So back to Disha now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Disha. So you were uh, sorry. This call came up, and you were saying something. Yeah. Let's continue with that. So apart from being, apart from moving around, and you know, you need to be very active. Uh, there are a few more things which really benefit. So you get to make a really good network. You get to meet a lot of different people where you know you never know what kind of opportunity will come your way. So you get to make money. Definitely, there's really good money. So you can become financially stable. You don't need to be dependent on anybody. Not your father. Not your husband. Nobody. So you can always be financially independent, and you can do really good in real estate. And so if you're interested, we have a great opportunity here in Coldwell Banker. So I would love to mention that that we yeah. have uh, a very entrepreneurial opportunity so it's not like you are going to be working for somebody you need to be you are going to work for yourself you are going to earn for yourself and you are going to do good for yourself so that yeah. is the kind of opportunity so that's here. basically called the affiliate partnership model yeah. which we have yeah. and uh, yeah we need uh, i think uh, this is the time we need more and more uh, women entrepreneurs joining us yeah. as an affiliate partner mm. uh, the opportunity as you rightly said is immense and uh, bangalore is growing and uh, we are the second uh, highest tax paying city in india yeah. next to only mumbai Correct. so so many highly skilled people are uh, coming to bangalore migrating to bangalore Correct. and uh, so much of housing needs mm. is going to be there it's already there yeah. it's going to double triple in the coming years in the next 10 years there's big boom for real estate in bangalore Absolutely. I agree with you. Yeah. So, with all that in note, uh, uh, what are you going to do with all the earnings? The same question. <laughs> so, how is it? T t take us through your investment plan or your spending, your partying time. <laughs> so, what what do you do with uh, the money? So, definitely looking for different opportunities to invest in. Apart from just spending it, uh, I keep looking for different different opportunities, business opportunities. So, the mind keeps getting a lot of ideas. As and when the money comes, it will keep going into it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Disha, for coming on to this show. I'm sure the audience would have enjoyed uh, knowing you better. Thank you so uh, much for calling <laughs> yeah, me. You're most welcome. <laughs> and uh, if at all, uh, uh, if the audience wants to reach out to you, get in touch with you, connect you, hmm. uh, uh, where, what's the best way to get connected with you? Yeah, so I would like to say that anybody who is looking for opportunities to invest or even buy properties in North Bangalore, CBD and South, you can definitely contact me. I think the contact details are being mentioned in the video below. So you can get in touch with me and I can help you out. And uh, I, I can vouch that uh, Disha is very active uh, on the Insta. She posts amazing pictures and videos of the properties, homes, unique uh, places of interest. So, uh, we are going to put uh, Disha's personal Instagram handle also where you can follow her and get to know her better. Yes. So, with that, it's a wrap. See you in my next video. Thank you.